200 watt solar panels. Each one can do up to 6 amps. I'm gonna do it in parallel, which is first panel, second panel, this is the plus, this is the minus, and my harness gonna come in. Plus, minus, and then here I'm gonna end up with a plus and minus. So this is parallel setup, and that will produce 12 volts up to 12 amps. I went with parallel because I already have thick cabling, so I'm using 8 gauge cable. You really don't need more than 12, so 12 is sufficient, but I'm using 8 because the cable I chose is cheap Chinese one and I want to be on the safe side. Uh, my wiring harness is just going to go from the bottom, from the controller, to the top of the trailer, split into a Y, panel 1, panel 2, and then this goes to the battery. I don't have an inverter yet, I will add it in the next video. So before we take it to the roof and mount it, we should check that it's working. This is just a voltmeter and just checking the output. And I have 17 volts. Got my cable harness already routed down to the bottom. The charge controller I'm using is the Victron Energy. So I'm on the roof of the trailer and to find or the strong points you can see them bowing here. Also you can feel it. If it's soft, don't drill in it. I can see these are hard points. On this side you can see my first panel. So that's the plan. I'm using roof sealant under it, then I'm gonna drill and bolt it in. So this is the panel I'm installing now. Alright, so I'm using the roofing sealant. I'm just gonna put a big chunk under the bracket. So my first my first install was a disaster. As you could see the black stuff that I used was really bad and kind of delaminated the rubber. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put some uh, uh, tape and reinstall my panels again, same location. This is original Eterna bound uh, roll. This is six inch by 50 feet.
All right, so I patched up where the brackets will go, and I marked where the hole is gonna be. And I already put in one solar panel, but I haven't bolted it yet. So. Very important that you tighten it by hand. So here's my final uh, product, uh, basically my cable is coming on the side, I'm using those adhesive clamps to hold it, and far away you really can't tell much, that's there, then down to the bottom, I haven't doubted it properly here, but this cable is going to the controller, and back of the trailer, this is where I'm connecting to my plus, and my ground is going to the front. And this is really closest to the to the battery. Inside the compartment, I have the cable coming from the bottom. I have a clamp here to hold it in place. This is my input fuse. So I have input fuse and output fuse, you probably don't need it, but it's better be safe and sorry. And that's it. Up on top I got both panels installed. And here you can see the sealing job. Basically I got the silicone right under the screw and uh, turn up on tape installed. Same thing on this side. And the wires. Connected to the top. More tape. And to the bottom. So I have double tape here. 
and then uh, silicone.